disciple making track this is uh, the process in which we take the new believer from that first day of conversion to develop it into a mature Christian and what we call a disciple maker uh, in essence um, a Bethel disciple and underpinning this process are three words which are found in our mission statement to reach to teach and to serve and in essence this discipleship track is designed to take the new convert from the first day of conversion to that of a disciple a disciple maker it sets forth in uh, the very first course that we walk this new convert through is for them to understand what has just happened to me and how am I to grow spiritually. Then we take the believer through the process of spiritual growth and dive into uh, the teaching and the doctrine and the beliefs of the church, the core beliefs of the church. Then we take the believer uh, to the next uh, uh, two levels uh, that deals with the protocol and the uh, ordinances and the polity of the church. How do we uh, behave as a church? What are the expectations in our service and, uh, and in our uh, carrying out of our daily Christian life? And then we take, uh, we move to the next level, which is uh, taking that new convert uh, to that disciple making process. So we want to we want to see this disciple now begin to disciple others. The result is that each Christian, from the day of conversion to uh, their present time, they should get to the point where they are comfortable as a disciple maker. So, underpinning this, as I said earlier, the three words that, that uh, are pulled from our mission statement, and the, the our mission statement can be uh, separated into three main sentences. The first one is that at Bethel, we seek to make disciples by reaching them through the proclamation of the gospel message. That's the reach aspect. And here we say we are, etern uh, we are externally focused on souls. We are externally focused on souls. The second sentence is to teach. And here's what that sentence says, to make disciples through the teaching of the word of God. Here, we're eternally connected to God. So we want this believer through teaching to get him closer and closer to God. And then lastly, that the last uh, uh, sentence says, to foster fellowship by strict adherence to the apostles' doctrine and ministries in service. So basically to serve, we are eternally focused on service. So we want to help others. And so a believer that comes as a new convert is expected to reach, to teach, and to serve.